Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Thursday. Uh, tomorrow is Christmas, so make sure you, Christmas Eve, sorry, so make sure you check in because Cody and I are going to do a really cool cocktail tomorrow. That's our plan. We should have already filmed it, but we haven't, so what time we'll see. Do you do the cocktail hour? It comes out at noon every day, every Friday. So make sure you check that out. Hopefully you've been enjoying this week. Uh, we've had a really cool vodka. <laughs> we'll skip Tuesday because there's a lot of debate on that. And yesterday was a good coffee. <laughs> a lot of debate. I don't think there's too much debate on that one. So today we're going to go back to Chattanooga, Tennessee. But instead of going to the distillery we did on Tuesday, we're going to go back to Chattanooga's uh, distillery, Chattanooga distillery, which is one of our favorites by the way. So if you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. So this is the Chattanooga Whiskey Silver. It's basically a white lightning. And I think we did one last week uh, and we had some comments about how many we've done and how many were coming up. These new makes, white lightning, moonshines. Remember that whole conversation last week? I don't know. <laughs> I got pretty... Buzzed? Woo! Yeah. Something flying around. So, um... And so I was doing a little bit of inventory this week, and we actually have quite a few of the whites, the white lightnings or moonshines coming up. Uh, so make sure you check all of those out, and maybe we'll do a comparison between the best ones, you know? Because we did the uh, Tennessee Legends one the other day. Do you remember that? Why I do you, remember it. Why are you on this show? Because you want to laugh at me because <laughs> i ply you with free liquor <laughs> you want the viewers to laugh at me there's another show out there much more popular than us that has a mooch pretty sure my mooch way out does his mooch You're trying to get my hair that long, long. <laughs> all right so this is the chattanooga whiskey silver from chattanooga distillery it is a 50 percent or 100 proof I, I don't know, white lightning, new make, I don't know what they want to call this, besides silver. Well, is moonshine, like, legally supposed to be <laughs> under proof? Are we going through that again? Because you got to put it in your car to run your engine when you're trying sure. to get away from the revenuers. So, unlike um, their other offerings, uh, this one's rather inexpensive at $24.99. The other ones, I think, are in the $30, $40 ranges, possibly. Uh, so, this is $24.99. That's going to make it a three barrel on cost. You can go ahead and sniff it now. So, the aroma... Hmm. It's got some funkiness to it. I think it's got some, I don't know what the mash bill is, but it smells like it has some malted barley with the corn. Yeah, it's got like, I mean, it's, I definitely get a cherry out of there. Okay. I'm getting um, a very herbally, I don't know, malted barley. So barley, you say cherry. Um, I'm definitely getting some hints of corn. Yeah. The I'm sweetness of corn. corn. Undertones of spearmint, but not much. Just a slight undertones. And maybe uh, a fruit? Well, I did say cherry. Isn't that a fruit? <laughs> I don't know. Sure. I was thinking more like kind of a, a mellow banana to it. I don't know. Uh, flavor. Silky, not very thick. 
little bit of spice and heat but I mean it's really good but I'd almost gather that it's, the inexperienced would have a hard time deciding this is whiskey and not almost a vodka it's got something that it's very pronounced and I can't like mm -hmm. discern it well I'm still picking up that barley a malted barley Uh, so the white expression of our signature Tennessee high malt, okay, there you go, uh, highlights the bright complexity of our four grain mash bill. Enjoy wheat, oh no, enjoy neat over ice or mixed in your favorite cocktail. So four grain mash bill, it's going to be corn, barley, wheat, and rye. And I, I think it's a little heavy on aroma and flavor of the barley. I'm getting the corn and that funkiness could be the wheat. And it does have spiciness of the rye. I actually really do like this. I'm not sure that I would drink this neat. I'd use it as a cocktail additive, but would they say drink it neat over ice? Maybe cold it would be good. Yeah. I mean, not that I'm saying it's not good, but... No, it's really... It's, but it's, it's good. good. It's got what? No bite, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say 3.5. And 100 in proof. Five. There's something in the flavor that I... It's very pronounced, but I can't, like, detect mm -hmm. it. Well, you can detect it, you can't describe it. I can't describe it, because it's like... And it's not bad, it's a... Right. And it's got a very thick mouth feel. Go ahead, say it. Fig. Fig. Figs, maybe. That's your fifth grain, fig. And apricot. Yeah. Water definitely brings out the flavor a lot more. But it makes it more pronounced. Smells like apricot, tastes like fig. And it, okay. And it seems like it doesn't have the legs, but it, in your mouth it feels very thick. See, and I find it very thin I find and smooth. It. When I take it, it's like just coats your whole mouth. Mm -hmm. and okay. So overall, I'm thinking this is, um, by what we've defined, especially with the bite not being that bad as a 3.5, I'm thinking this is about a 3.5 barrel. It's, it, I, I could just am thinking and imagining what this is gonna look like or taste like once it's aged for five years or longer, which we actually have, we have the chat uh, 91, the chat 99, and the chat 111. So um, we can do a little bit of comparison between those and see, you know, what they're close to. Because they say it's their normal mash bill, just not, yeah, the white expression of our signature Tennessee high malt recipe. Oh. Well, and traditionally, Moonshine is not meant to be aged or anything. It's like okay, you make it and you drink it. So I think traditionally whiskey is not meant to be aged. It was put in barrels for transportation purposes and was just an after effect. And everybody decided it was a good thing. Yeah. So tell us what you think about um, the chat silver. Um, what are your uh, thoughts on it and how would you drink it? I actually. Um, really like it. I'm very impressed with the Chat uh, Distillery, Chattanooga Distillery. Haven't found anything I don't like. In fact, um, like I said, we have the 91, the 99, and the 111, and we tried some expressions. They're kind of like uh, here in Texas, we have Balconis, where they come out with a new expression all the time that you can only get at the distillery, and it just... It's, it's a limited time. It's a limited time, and it's endless. They have literally hundreds, but you can't buy them in the stores. But they have a series, um, probably one of my favorite whiskeys from Tennessee is the uh, Chattanooga 1816 Reserve, so you should try that. 
uh, by far one of my favorites. Uh, but tell us what you think. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful holiday this weekend. Um, tomorrow we have our cocktail that Cody and I are working on and our last advent calendar. So make sure you check that out. Um, it will mean a lot for us if you can tune in on that holiday. You know, tune out your family and tune us in because we're like family to you. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is pretty good whiskey. I like it. Yeah, I do too. Cheers. Laters.